module three. Uh, this is the four special cases. Uh, these are kind of cases that don't necessarily fall easily into characteristically benign or into our suspicious calcifications requiring biopsy. So I think of these kind of on their own. Um, and again, uh, we're gonna review those four special cases now. Um, so here are the four, what I think of as four special cases. Uh, the first is what we just briefly touched on, the diffuse round punctate calcifications in a bilateral distribution. Those may be dismissed as a benign, a BIRADS two. Amorphous calcifications in a diffuse distribution may also be dismissed as a BIRADS 2, and we're going to review how um, other amorphous calcifications need to be managed in the next coming modules. Multiple groups of bilateral coarse heterogeneous calcifications may also be dismissed as benign as a BIRADS 2. Uh, grouped round and punctate calcifications on a baseline mammogram are the one thing that we know that may be given a BIRADS 3 or a probably benign um, assessment. And that means that in the literature, there have been shown to be a less than 2% chance of malignancy, and therefore we can recommend short imaging surveillance. Um, in the United States, what we recommend for this group is being seen uh, for at least two years, up to three years. Um, and we usually do a six month follow-up a 12-month follow-up, a 24-month follow-up, and then at UCSF we do a 36-month follow-up and ensure stability over three years before we send these patients back to screening mammography. So let's start. Here is just an example of these diffuse round punctate calcifications. We see these scattered throughout both breasts. We can dismiss this as a BIRADS 2, a benign finding. The special case number two is when we have diffuse bilateral amorphous calcifications. These are also a benign finding, a BIRADS 2. Moving on to multiple groups of bilateral coarse heterogeneous calcifications as we see here. Uh, this may be dismissed as a BIRADS 2, a benign finding, but again, we're gonna talk about the management of coarse heterogeneous calcifications in the next module. A group of round and punctate calcifications on a baseline mammogram, whether it's this patient's first mammogram or if she's never had any priors, may be given a BIRADS 3, a probably benign assessment, and we can recommend short interval follow up. And we're going to talk more about this in the upcoming module. So I want to thank you. Um, those are the four special cases that I like to think of as their own group. And now